looking at the state flag of Florida, we see the red St. Andrew's cross, and on top of it we have the great seal of the state. But what is the symbolism, history, and meaning behind its components, and how and why were some changes made? In this video, we'll answer these questions and more. We'll also learn about Florida's native populations and other seals used within the state. The current design was adopted in 1985, but before we get to the meaning of those symbols and to understand its components better, we have to trace its evolution. We find ourselves in the year 1868. That's 23 years after it was admitted to the Union, Florida's legislature specified in a joint resolution the design of their first seal. They stated at the time that the seal should contain the sun's rays, a cocoa tree, a steamboat, and a native Seminole woman scattering flowers. Below these images, the motto stated, In God We Trust. Several changes were made to the state seal over the years, and we went to the second and third renderings. These changes were mostly minor, and it wasn't until the early 1900s when the seal started showing some major differences. The mountain in the background has now been flattened, since the state terrain has no mountains. The steamboat had its fair share of revisions as well, while the sabal palm replaced the original cocoa tree. Fast forward to 1985, the current design was adopted. The outside circle reads, Great Seal of the State of Florida, and in the bottom it still shows the motto, In God We Trust. And although it was officially adopted as the state motto in 2006, it can be traced back to the original 1868 design. Moving into the inner circle, the native woman has changed her clothing and taken off her feathered headdress. The reason behind this was that this type of a headdress was only worn by male Seminoles. Her change of clothes was made to depict an accurate Seminole clothing rather than a Western Plains Indian clothing. The Seminole population of Florida call themselves the Unconquered People. And although their population is over 2,000 today, they all descend from 300 Indians who managed to elude capture by the U.S. Army in the 19th century. Florida makes use of their nickname as the Sunshine State by showing the rising sun in the distance. And the palm tree reflects the state's adoption of the Sabal Palmito palm as the official state tree in 1953. And as I mentioned before, the steamboat is another constant, but it also has been depicted in various ways until the most recent and accurate one was adopted. Other government entities in the state use different variants, such as this older version of the seal currently used by the state House of Representatives. Florida's Senate, on the other hand, has a different design, with the state and national flags and the state Supreme Court is another unique one. Now, since the state secretary is the official custodian of the seal, it is commonly used in the state government buildings, as well as vehicles and other effects of the Florida government. I have to mention, however, that one special exception was the University of Florida, since they were granted the right to use the seal to represent the university. And besides that, anyone illegally displaying it is found guilty of a second-degree misdemeanor. If you're looking to watch a similar video, you can check out this one, or browse the playlist for other American seals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I will see you next time on Council of Knowledge.